Hi guys, um, today we are gonna do some makeup. I haven't really worn makeup in general for like a while because I've been sick for like the past week and a half and I've just been feeling like shit, essentially. Side note, I'll just show you. This is my dog. You can't really see him. Um, me sleeping and he's snoring very loud, but I don't have the heart to kick him out of the room. So you're probably just gonna hear that the whole time. I'm just gonna do the makeup that I kind of do on special occasions I guess like it's nothing special like I don't do any eyeshadow or anything it's just like my skin but better in a way I'm not like trying to say that makeup putting on makeup and like making yourself look good when you feel like shit is like a good thing like I'm not trying to advertise that I guess just like when I feel gross or whatever like not all the time but sometimes like makeup like doing makeup is fun and it makes me feel better so basically all the products that I use are vegan as far as I know Apart from my powder, but I'll talk about that when we get to it. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna... Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna start off with moisturiser. I'm going to be using the Simple Hydrating Light Moisturiser. I'm gonna do this, because I think this is what they do. If you can even... Ooh, there we go. So... This is my favourite moisturiser ever because I have like oily skin but it can be really dry sometimes so like combination skin. <laughs> like moisturiser is literally my favourite part of the whole thing. I don't know why, like it's just, it's just so nice. Oh, okay, you need to go away. Basically what I'm going to do is just do my makeup, talk you guys through and also just kind of have a chat. We're just going to chat about life, I guess. I kind of let my moisturizer sink in for a bit. Concealer. Concealer is not something that I generally use like on a day-to-day -day basis. Literally my makeup routine on a day-to-day -day basis is moisturizer, my, fill in my eyebrows, put some eyebrow gel on, um, put some powder on my face to like get rid of like the shininess from my concealer and that's literally it. So on a day-to-day -day basis like that's all I do. But I've been getting into like concealer and this is my like favorite concealer this is the elf hd lifting concealer if you can oh it is gonna focus i would generally just use a sponge and nothing else but i've been getting into like actually on like my blemishes and stuff i'll use my fingers to blend this out because i think it blends like so beautifully with like the warmth of your fingers i honestly don't know what i'm talking about so how's everyone been going how's everyone's life mine's going pretty good at the moment actually like mental health pretty good actually I went for a job interview yesterday and that is why my hair is actually curled because I curled it for my job interview because I was freaking out and I met a lot of lovely people at my job interview because it was a group interview which I've never done before but it was so fun it was for Target people I was gonna say people in Australia will know what that is but Target is a thing everywhere but a job would be great right now because then I can like afford things. <laughs> Just a side note, I do not know why I was blending out my concealer so aggressively. Like it's actually unsettling to watch. So I'm just going to apologise for that now. And also I get my peas soon and there's going to be so many driving vlogs like you're not even ready. A thing that I like love, 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 love about this concealer, like if you love like a high coverage concealer and you're into like tart shaped tape or whatever, you're probably not going to love this because it's really not like high coverage or anything. Like I think it's buildable, but I like it because I put it on and then blend it out and you can still see my skin. I've started to like makeup that just enhances my skin, like enhances my face and doesn't really like cover up much because I've just given up on like trying to pretend that I have perfect skin because I just know that I don't and like yeah I'm gonna go in with a little bit more just on my blemishes and I'll blend it out with my finger because this bad boy here is not cooperating today and it's weird because it's not even a pimple like it's just it's probably this is probably sounds gross but it literally just came up and I was like, oh, okay, hello, like, welcome to the family. And then it just didn't do anything. Like, it 
yeah, I just didn't do anything. And I was like, if you're going to be that, can you at least do something? I well, thought I just told you guys that I don't really like covering up my skin and that I'm just trying to cover up this big bad boy. I look very shiny. And to combat the shininess, we're going to put on some powder. Like I said, my powder is not vegan, unfortunately. Sorry. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in shade 10, Fair Light. Um, the backstory behind this not being vegan is I bought, like, a heap of this when I was not a vegan. I, like, bulk bought it. So I have, like, four of them. Um, and I've decided that with my makeup and stuff, all the stuff that I generally use is vegan, but I've decided that, like, stuff that I already have, like, I'm not just going to throw it away because I think it's really wasteful, but, like, I'm just making sure that everything that I purchase from now on, like, makeup-wise and just, like, everything-wise is vegan, you know? So, like, I don't... I'm just baking under my eyes, kind of. I have so much makeup in, like, my cupboard, and I would say hardly any of it is vegan, which is sad, but I'm not just going to chuck it out because I think it's really wasteful. So, because I've spent like all of my money on it when I was obsessed with makeup. So, yeah, that's kind of like a backstory. So, don't hate me for it. I'm sorry. But your girl's broke and she kind of has to just use what she's got at the moment. When I like have money in my life and when I have a job, Target, hint, hint. Um, yeah, when I have a job and stuff, like I'll make a conscious effort to have, like, I'll feel like I'll be able to do a whole lot more with this veganism but I feel like at the moment I'm kind of limited as to how far I can take it which is unfortunate but I'm doing the best that I can with what I have and now we're gonna go in with bronzer this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil I literally love it a thing that I love about like bronzers and stuff is it has to be one that I can literally just swirl my brush in and just go to town because if it's one that is like really like pigmented I'm just gonna hate it because I don't want to have a light hand like I don't want to worry about how much product I'm putting on like I just want it to if that makes sense I don't know if that did make sense but first of all this is a very attractive freeze frame but I'm pretty sure what I was just trying to explain is just called being a lazy bitch and I also run this down the sides of my nose it's never generally very precise it doesn't really do a whole lot but it just like brings the color back I guess Next thing I'm going to do is pop on some highlighter. This is W7, which I've heard of before, but I've never actually, like, tried anything of theirs. And they have this very vegan range. It's very, like, affordable. This was, like, $5. And I was like, that's great. So I grabbed it. And I was like, oh, it's broken. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, my gosh. No, 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 no. It's lifting out of the pan. Okay. I'm going to try and show you guys. Like, that might sound like I'm being very dramatic. But if you can see underneath, it's, like, lifting out of the pan. That's cool. And it's going everywhere. That's so cool. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like a goldy coloured highlighter, which I just love. So just pop my highlighter brush in there. Sometimes I'll spray my brush. Sometimes I don't. I really can't be bothered right now. And then I also pop some on my nose. Oh. <gasps> And on the bridge. I was going to say I was going to do some bronzer in my crease, but I'm not sure if I... Yes, I will. Okay. I told you guys I wasn't going to do any bronzer, but I'm actually feeling like doing some now. Okay. So, what I'm going to do... It's literally just the easiest thing ever. Yes. This is my sister, by the way. She's just using my mirror, even though she has the exact same one in her room that works just as well. Bye! I'm just gonna go in with the bronzer that I used just before and I'm just going in with like a little eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna run it in my crease and on my lid just for a little bit of a definition. I'm really just slapping this on. Since I've just done that I'm actually gonna go in with my highlighter again and with the same brush. Oh my god it's just gone all over my bed. Just pop that in my inner corners. My eyebrows. I am gonna do these off camera because I know that it's gonna take so long for me to do them on camera. This is just the e.l.f. brow pencil. And I will be back when I have eyebrows. So this is the before, this is the after. We're almost done, so don't leave just yet. Now I'm just gonna go in with some mascara. The mascara that I'm using is from the same brand as the highlighter. So this is the Very Vegan Mascara by W7.
I curl my lashes to begin with and then I will go in with the mascara. This is probably so freaky to look at, but um, I'm actually very lucky with my eyelashes. Like, I actually have very long eyelashes. I don't know. That was a weird flex. But okay. Um, I don't know why I said that. I literally just tried to flex on you. I hope your ego was hurt. Get right to, like, the root of your lashes. And then I go and do the bottom ones. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That's cool. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one, hopefully. And I love you very much. Bye.